Okay everyone, yeah, my name is Gunnar Hamann. Welcome to my next video tutorial. Today it's about the fiber brush portraits I've been posting and also I got lots of lots of questions. How did you do it and what did you use? For these kind of pictures I usually like to use an analog portrait lens. In this case like a Petzval would be nice. Uh, or I have a Maya Optic Görlitz portrait lens. 85mm or this photo actually been taken with a Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens that way you cannot change the f-stop during the exposure but you have to play around with the settings then okay hardware wise yeah next part for the photography itself for the light painting i use a black fiber brush and the colors i choose mainly with some tape and some colored foil on it i just put it over the brush connect with the universal connector and then I put my flashlight in it. The color, you put it in and then you get lots of colors. Okay, I also brought a model which will turn off the light and then come into the picture, please. I prepared my second camera which is beautiful to learn with, which is an Olympus OMD 10 Mark II. I attached the Maya Optic Figmentum 35mm lens and with that I will show you how it works. Okay, a few techniques. Lots of people um, go around the model and do some brushes, brush movement like this. Shake it a little bit and then you get those little swirls. Second movement I like, a uh, little bit like Dutch and Burn. You can just light up the model. Next step, you touch the skin if she allows you. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me. And then you just brush over the skin. That way you can highlight the different areas. Remember, when you face into the camera or into the lens, lots of light will go this way. And that's when I use usually very high f-stop, f22, f16, 11, something like that. With the Maya optic, they're really close, so be careful, don't go too high up. And then as you face towards the model, you can use a lower f-stop. If you have the time or a second person to help you to change the f-stop. If you're alone, you have to work out speed, then you have to move quicker. Okay, let's uh, have a look in the live comp and see how this works. Okay, so hold. You ready? Ready. Okay, hold still. Okay, very good move, just touch the face and then one step and then brush over it. The closer you to the skin, the less you light up the skin. If you grab the brush and face everything together, you can even just shine the skin and so depending on the effects you like. You just keep going until you think the photo is ready. This looks awesome. And right now I'm on F11 and I will start to touch it in the face. And tell her to close the eyes. Yes, please close your eyes. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. Hold still and we start the shoot. And then I will move in a few steps and then do a very smooth movement around it. You can also grab the brush and use it really for light painting. So you can paint a small area here, white, so you light up a little bit of a skin with a different color and again I said touch the skin to create some points and then go over the shoulder remember when you face towards the lens you will get a really highlight so here are the last two pictures that's this one from just now from the other part, this one. Okay. 
we both say thank you very much <laughs> for listening. I hope it was interesting. I hope you learned something. If you have more questions, just post underneath and ask me. And uh, any bookings I will forward to you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.